Yeah, I mean, last year winning this was a dream. It was definitely on my bucket list as a professional golfer just to get this win here in Australia. And for me to do it uh, my third year on tour was definitely special. Um, so have you had a chance to look at the golf course? Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. I, I played it early in the morning yesterday where there was no wind, and I've just played it this afternoon. I just got off the golf course, and it's a completely different golf course when the wind picks up out here. I mean, the pl holes play so long when they're into the wind, and it's going to be definitely about controlling um, the flight on the ball this week if, it do if the wind does get up. Someone was saying at the on Monday that this is one of the most, the best prepared golf course that they've seen all season. Yeah, um, I mean, the mm. fairways look like carpets. They're so nice. Even the greens. Um, it's definitely a really pure golf course. Um, yesterday, when there was no wind, it was it was like a golfer's dream out there. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, uh, Nelly. Last year was your first win, obviously, and you've won again since then. How are you different as a player, do you think, now than what you were, say, this time last year? Um, I think just more experience under the gun. You know, I think that's what kind of makes you a better player, putting you through those positions where, you know, you have to control your heart rate. Um, so just kind of... You're never going to master it. You're never going to master golf, but just trying to learn from each experience definitely helps. Do you have a, an actual method to control your heart rate that, <laughs> that's been taught, or is that just...? I, f I feel like every... It's different every week because it's based off of also confidence. Um, some weeks, you know, I have an easier time because uh, I can just close my eyes and kind of relax, but other weeks, you know, it's harder. I mean... You know, it's just about pre the type of pressure you put on yourself. It's all mental. Last year, as a as a quarter, <laughs> you probably faced pressure that other people didn't face here, which is sort of ridiculous, but it's sort of true. Mm -hmm. um, is that pressure gone now that you've cleared that sort of obstacle? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, I started out with three bogeys last year, and I just looked to my caddy and I was like you know what I'm just gonna not think about anything like mm -hmm. about winning this tournament and just go out and play my golf game and you know from then on I I played really well so I think that's kind of the mentality that I adapted throughout the whole year as well it's it was funny I just I learned that within three holes uh, last year here and um, I kind of I kind of tried to take that mentality going throughout the whole year. Have you looked back at those photos now and have you had a chat with dad and with Jess and anyone else about how they look and is your kangaroo the best? <laughs> I, I did uh, get told that um, holding the trophy my jump was the best <laughs> so I was really happy about that one. <laughs> Save the best for last. <laughs> I always ask how different it is I mean walking in here you've got the, the posters on the wall seeing yourself with the trophy and that side of, that side of things is it a different feel coming back this year defending champion than than last year, um, I, I guess just being reminded of that sort of stuff? Or? Yeah, I'm definitely seeing my face a lot this week. <laughs> <laughs> it's even on like the floors of the hotel. I was like, do not step on this, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's cool. I mean, you kind of just try to soak it all up and it's definitely special seeing your face everywhere. And you know, it's gonna be a tough week. It's a different golf course. It's definitely more linksy this year, so. I'm going to just try and play my best, you know, try to defend, but we'll see. Have, have, you, have you got your eyes on number one, or what's motivating you this year? Is it the Olympics? Anything else? Uh, no, I'm not thinking about anything like that. Really, I've just, I just changed equipment too, so um, I have brand new irons in this week, new shafts. I've been... I got stronger over the off season and my first two events, I could not control my ball flight because they were bending, the shafts were too weak and they were bending on me. So right now I'm just still trying to figure everything out and really my goal for this year is the same as last year and just to try to stay as consistent and healthy and happy. <laughs> yeah. Have you got your numbers sorted out yet? Uh, yeah, um, it was mainly, it wasn't really, I mean, I did get a couple of ones that I would hit really short and then a couple of ones that would just shoot on me. Um, but it was mainly about ball flight. I just couldn't control that. 
So while you're figuring that out, I can't imagine you playing not to win here, though. <laughs> yeah, that, and definitely that's the main goal, yeah. Can I ask you about the tournaments that have been cancelled the next few weeks? I mean, it's clearly unfortunate. Do you have mm -hmm. some thoughts about it? I love those two events. Um, I love Thailand. The fans there are great, and Singapore, too. Um, I've always played pretty good at those two events, um, so I'm really sad that um, we weren't we're not going. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing we can do, but I'm definitely looking forward to them next year. Martin. I know you said you weren't really thinking about Olympics and number one. I think I read somewhere that you do have a goal of being number one. I like, mean, I think as a professional golfer, yeah. I think every golfer has that yeah. in the back of their head. Tell me this. Do you know how far away that is? If you won this week, for instance, mm -hmm. would you get to number one or close? Or I, To be honest, know? I have no idea how the Rolex ranking really yeah, works. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think anyone – like Just my sister was talking. Monday. She was like, I finished – pretty well at this tournament I dropped in rankings it's like I just like we I don't really understand them one thing that I look at what we look at is CME rankings and money list like those are the, like the two main goals every year that you really kind of the ranking wise you look at because I really don't understand Rolex rankings <laughs> no one does that I yeah. all confused. any more questions ladies and gentlemen no Oh, yes. One more, Mark. Yeah, sorry, mm -hmm. the, Oli the Olympics, you know, may or may not be a priority, but I imagine you're a pretty patriotic person. Mm -hmm. You'd love to get the stars and stripes on. Yeah, definitely. Whenever you get to represent your country, um, it's definitely a special feeling. And my mom was the only, is the only one in our family that's represented her country in the Olympics, so it would be pretty special to, to be another quarter. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you so much Thank for coming you. in, and I hope we see you during the week. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.